Here's our baseball, Rice Krispie Treats. Who doesn't like a baseball made out of Rice Krispie Treats, huh? Okay, so this is the, um, it's a sports ball pan, mini sports ball pan by the company with the big W. Um, what we want to do, you don't have to use a sports ball pan if you um, have anything round. Um, some of the candy molds, there's some cup kind of candy molds, or if you have anything that's kind of in that shape. Or you can just kind of um, roll it into a ball yourself. But uh, this makes it a little bit easier and more controlled. So I just take some Rice Krispie Treats. These are the ones that I like to make because they're already made. Okay, that's how I make my Rice Krispies. I buy them. Um, going to take some of these, kind of pop it in here, and just kind of push them in, okay? And we're going to do uh, two of these, so I'll do, you know, one here, and then you do one in this cavity over here. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, see, and then it pops right out. Then you take it, and you kind of pop it on this one, like so, and then you can kind of fill in some of these extra little little holes if there's if you've got some little holes there and then you just kind of keep pushing it back in until you get it uh, pretty even okay there's still some holes in here and what I've started to do here is take some white chocolate which is just coating chocolate just the little disc that you can buy pretty much anywhere craft stores or at your local cake supply another piece of the acetate paper I'll take this and kind of pick up some of the chocolate place it on the ball like that, and then just smooth that out. This is going to take a couple of coats. I need the first one to kind of set up, and then I can go back over it, and we can get this ball fairly smooth this way. That's the best way to do a baseball rather than trying to do it out of cake um, because it's just the cake's really just a little bit too soft. Okay, so what I can do is just kind of put this off to the side. It's easier to kind of do one side and then the other side and then I'll probably need an, an extra little coat maybe somewhere where it's, uh, especially the seam where I put it together, it kind of dips in a little. Once this sets up, I can go ahead and put more chocolate on it and kind of fill that area in a bit. Okay, so we'll kind of just set that down. Let me just wipe my hands here. Then what I do, um, I've kind of got a little cheat sheet here. This is um, going on the uh, internet and hitting images under Google and uh, just putting uh, baseball clip art or baseball glove clip art. I've got my little field here and then a real one just so I can kind of see the, the layout on the cake. We're just going to mainly be doing this infield area here with uh, some of the bases cut out and stuff. But um, I wanted to do a glove out of Rice Krispies too so I can kind of uh, shape it. So I wasn't sure what size. Um, you know, the ball, the bat, the hat, they're not going to be all, you know, in exact proportion to what they should be. And I, I don't worry, you know, on a cake like this, it's fun, you, whimsical kind of, you don't have to really worry about it. We're not really going for, um, you know, exact on, on that. So I've got the different sizes. I don't want to really go too big. Um, you know, really for a ball this size, it probably should be like, you know, big like this. This is almost real baseball size, actually. But I'm going to go with something a little smaller. So we'll go with this one, the medium size one. So I just saved the file and then I just printed out several different sizes. And then um, I'll just take some scissors and just kind of cut this out and use this as a pattern on top of my Rice Krispies. Or my cereal treats, if I'm not allowed to call them Rice Krispies. Okay, rough. See, I don't, I'm not worried about it. It's just the basic shape that I need. And you can just eyeball it too if you want, but this makes it a little easier. 